All right, what up, you guys? It's Tila, so we're staring at my screen after it has been updated to High Sierra. And I figured today, since I have a bit of a stressful few days, that I would do a little writing video because I haven't done that in a while. Just uh, ignore that one. Um, okay, so. You're going to have to ignore this. Um, we're going to do some writing today. I haven't done one in a while, and I figured why not. Makes me want to do this. Um, <laughs> let me see. Um, don't have a story. I'm just trying to see. Okay, here we go. This is the one I want. Maybe. Yes, this is the one I want. Okay. So as you can see here, I think I mentioned before that I have a story that I'm working on called The Were Werewolf Princess. I can't speak. Words are hard right now. Um, and I don't know how far I got, actually. So, so I have an outline done. I am now trying to actually fill in the gaps. Oh, I didn't get that far. All right, okay. So we're going to write for a bit. I don't have a lot of time to do this writing, so I'm moving stuff. I figured I'd do it now. Again, it makes me do things. So let me see how far I got in this outline uh, into this chapter. This is chapter four, again, as I mentioned. Uh, okay. just trying to look here so again if you hear a pen clicking like this I don't know where you're gonna hear it to me writing I won't be talking a lot because again I don't have a lot of time so let's get to work Yeah, as you can see, should put some page numbers actually. We got 18 pages. Let's do uh, get some page numbers here. So we'll be. I do. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm a genius. I am a genius. I am a certified genius. Alright. Yeah, I'm not up. I don't know how this works. So, I will have more of a video up about my story later in a bit. Uh, that was my phone. Y'all could not guess. Um, I'll have a video up kind of describing this story, probably tagged to the end of this video. Um, and yeah, so there, I will also have another page habit unboxing to 
tag on to this video and I will for sure see you guys and you will see my face in a later part of this video. This is T. Lizzo signing off until the next clip. Bye! Alright, what up you guys? It's T. Lizzo. So this is, I think, uh, on that Sunday was the last clip. Today is Monday. That's where I went to high school. And I have two packages that I actually started opening. These are them. I like literally just picked them up today. I got some glare here. I started opening them. You can see I can easily slide my knife through here. So I just started opening them. I'm going to show you the address to where these packages were sent because that's where I go to school and I kind of don't want to be stocked there. So this is kind of um, a, I guess, a haul video type thing. One thing in here, actually, because my phone is naked if you can say it is naked i had to get a new phone case because the one that was on it was breaking horribly so i decided let's treat ourselves to a new phone case I get into this kind of package. um this is hard guys I'm just sure for that. Okay. all right what are we doing yes i know how to open packages he's open oh, oh. He's open. If you saw the address, please don't stalk me there. And don't try to come to where I go to school. So, again, a lot of this is actually open both of the packages. One package is open. And let's get the thing that actually kind of spawned this order. Let's get that out for y'all to see. Because, again, as I said, I needed a new phone case. So it's in here. Gotta get at it. And the boxes. Excellent. Second box is open. <laughs> Second box is open. Again, if you saw the address, do not stalk me there. I don't even think you could see it, but if you pause it and see it, don't stalk me there. I don't have a notification. There we go. All right, so air bubble. We're gonna pop it with a knife. Pop it with a knife. You ready? It's gonna be bad. There we go. <laughs> I popped it. So it's just a bit air out of there. Excellent. All right. We're in business here, guys. Okay. So the thing that spawned it is actually in here. So we're going to figure out how to open this. And I'm going to make a mess in my room. As you do. The usual. All right. What did you do today? Oh, nothing. I just opened packages. I'm like really tired today, guys. So if I sound like an, a weirdo, do not like. Like, don't fault me for that. I woken up very early this morning by a fire alarm. So, not in the best of moods here. <laughs> oh, we have a protection screen. I should actually pick up the protect. Oh, okay. Pick that out. Pick that. Yeah, pick it off. Pick it off. Off kilter, like really badly, but the texting screen is on there. I'm trying to like keep the actual case from you guys, and then we have a stylus. Yeah, it's a stylus. It just looks like a pen. So stylus. I'm making this thing comes with like a mess. All right. We have a cleaner cloth. I'm like trying to open these so that we can get at it. Yeah. My phone was naked. My phone case, which is the Doctor Who phone case, is actually breaking. So I had some Amazon gift card money and I went, you know what? Let's just get a shit ton of Amazon. Uh, let's try to use that. So this company is Window Wisdom Pro. I can talk. Wisdom Pro is the company. I've never actually bought a case from them, so we're going to see how I like it. And let's get to the case. I don't know how. how do you, oh. Okay. I'm going to 
to figure out how this works, guys. <laughs> so this is the case itself. It's like a little wallet thing. It's purple. Like purple. I would have gotten the blue one, but I figured, you know, hey, purple's fine. Purple's kind of blue. Ish. It's just one color off. Uh oh. Can you fit? Yay! He fits. So now, my phone has a case. Excellent. Ooh. I don't get it. So I mainly. Oops. I had to get the stylus. I mainly bought this case. Again, I've mentioned it quite a few times just in this clip that my phone was having issues um, with the actual case itself. So, so the phone was like breaking. And I didn't really want that. Um, so, and I can hide my ID, which is here. I'm trying to like cover it from you guys. Or like the tape and my number. So, this is the ID gonna hide in my wallet in the phone part of the wallet part of my phone that white part I don't know if you can see it that's my ID I'm trying to like hide it from you guys so that you don't see it but yeah so that's what kind of spawned this order was the ID required a, a safe housing spot so oh Jesus what's the stylus so I was just gonna rest on my computer over there all right so that kind of stops me from having to carry this around on my key on my keys, which are jiggling. I don't know if you can hear them. It's my key and a, a light that and a whistle that I got from my grandma when she passed. Me, she rest in peace. But my desk is a mess, everyone. One day I will do a room tour, and one day you will see just how much of a mess my room is. Okay. The other two things are kind of just like spur of the moment things um, that I bought because why not? I didn't want to just get like one thing because that thing was like probably seven bucks or something like that. I would have to double check. But this one was again kind of spur of the moment choice. I had seen it. They have a part two to this, but. I and I love 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 Shakespeare like I have if I were to show you guys I have a giant book that is the completed works of William Shakespeare from Costco that I got for Christmas this past year so this is kind of oh there's two discs uh -huh. I know things all right I know how things work guys uh, so this is it Shakespeare uncovered. I don't know if you can see. So it has Ethan Hawke. What's your name again? Oh, David Tennant, Jeremy Irons, Ethan Hawke. Uh, what the? Hmm. Words. Jolie Richardson is this lady here. Trevor Nunn, I think, is this one. This guy right here, Derek Jacoby. Oh, I was going the other way. Is right here. So this is. I'm gonna read the back of it for you. I'm gonna read the back. So behind every Shakespeare play is a story. Shakespeare Uncovered portrays the Bard as an impress, as an impresario who, four centuries ago, defined his show business in his day drawing on historical sources, stealing and adapting ideas, bringing back popular characters, writing prequels, and and developing dramatic ideas for the politi from the politics of the day. In each episode, a major Shakespearean actor or director explores and reveals the extraordinary world and works of William Shakespeare and the still potent impacts they have today. The presenters have spent their lives with Shakespeare's works and relate not only to the stories of the plays themselves, but also how they came to be written, how they have been performed, and how they have survived over 400 years. Wow. <laughs> just wow. Just, just wow all around. So this is going to be fun. They have like a um a second part of this so i'm gonna watch this part first and if i like this part i probably will because it has some really good actors who i know some works from and are amazing i will watch the second disc to this so that's the next thing in zip box I'm trying to get all the plastic off of it so that i don't have to deal with it because i hate plastic i'm my, my room is just gonna be a mess which is fine i have to clean it anyway because we have three weeks of the semester left uh, at college, so I'll be heading off to 
uh, summer break very soon. And I will have a video on that. I won't make any plans that. So this next book or thing in the collection, you can actually see it, is Avatar The Last Airbender book one. So it's the complete one. I have already, I'm just going to show you, book three here. I think I also bought it off of Amazon with the White Queen and the Inheritance and something else that I forget. But this is book one. So just water. And I'm going to actually open it. I've never... Actually, fun fact, I used to watch Avatar religiously, like, like this stuff, this one. I used to watch it, like, religiously. I loved it. Uh-oh, one of my biscuits falling out. Uh-oh. Okay. Had a fiasco, guys. <laughs> a fiasco is overrated. Um, this is so cool. This is what it looks like. That is awesome. So, again, like, this is, I pretty much, like, grew up watching Avatar The Last Airbender. I love it. I even saw the movie with Jackson Rathbone and uh, what is his name? Uh, Def Patel. I forgot some of the other actors, but so I grew up watching this and like when it was on Netflix, we all, my family and I always watched it. Favorite season is Fire just because of the guy back here is a good guy. I just did a scar, but this whole like the red thing back here, this season he's a villain, third season, spoiler alert, he's a good guy. So, this will be fun. I get to relive my childhood. It's one of the only reasons. Uh, one of the only reasons why I got that is to relive my childhood. And probably bring it with me to where I'm going, which will be a part of a next video. You can kind of see me, but that will be a part of my next... Can you see me? Can, can we all see? I was, like, just noticing. I was like, I'm in dark in places. So, yeah. A lot of the stuff I will be bringing with me because I have to bring 50 pounds of luggage. And then I'll have a carry-on, so a lot of the stuff will actually end up sneaking onto my carry-on, probably, so that will be fun. And this next thing is actually part of the Last Airbender series. It's not one of my favorites, but probably just me, um, is Earth. So this is the second season, leading up to the third. So if you think, water, earth, fire is here, and then the Legend of Korra um is i want to say air i don't know i okay kind of confession time i never watched cora I, I think i watched like bits of it but i never like just sat down to watch it it's really honestly just because i was not that much of a fan of it if you do like cora just i'm i'm sorry i'm not a fan of it um probably because there was not a whole lot of ang in there i don't like ang but no was there i forget I forgot. Anyway, this is book two. This is Earth. They go to the Earth Kingdom. Who do they meet here? Toph and Suki. So Toph here, Earthbender, Suki, Kyoshi Warrior Lady. I will probably have like reactions to these episodes on my channel if I feel like I want to. I will definitely have reactions to this at some point. Um, just because I want to. And I will have reactions, I think, to Avatar The Last Airbender because I want to relive my childhood, but we'll see. Let's see if I feel up to it. Ah! I don't want to crush my phone either. I should plug it in, actually. I'm going to plug in the phone. The phone's going to hide. As will I. <laughs> okay, it's going dark because I'm not in frame. All right. I'm learning things. Yeah. I don't edit, like, a lot of my videos. I just, because I don't know how to. Phone is charging. Excellent. Okay. Phone is charging. The last thing in here is actually... The last thing on this haul is... <laughs> that was my hand, guys. I forgot that I was off camera when I said that. This last thing in here is actually something that I found on the YouTube-verse. Um... So this is going to be a bit of a, I don't know if it's going to like hit people in the nostalgia area. If you've read the book, because it is a book, or if you've seen the Disney film, this is a live, yeah. okay. beer to pan everyone. <laughs> Do I even need to explain? No. Uh, so I found this off of YouTube 
well, I forget how old I was when I found it, but I found it off of YouTube, and I just immediately was like, must watch, must find out more. So I found out more, watched some behind the scenes stuff, and it was beautiful. It was just beautiful. I had to watch it. And like, so this, I, I don't know if you can tell, that's Lucius Malfoy, and that is, have you seen CSI Miami? This is the younger version of that bad guy dude. If I can find a picture to insert of him, I will. But this is him. And... Okay, there we go. This girl was in, I think, pictures of Dorian... Or the picture of Dorian Gray with... Or Dorian Gray, the movie based on the book, the picture of Dorian Gray, which I hauled her um, in a previous video with Ben Barnes. This is the younger version of her. So this is... Very, very cool. I will probably, it's like, I'm up here, guys. I will probably have a reaction to this. I will definitely, again, back to this. I will have a reaction to some of these episodes as well, like me actually watching them and you seeing my reaction to them. Um, I will have, I keep promising that I will have book reviews of the Page Habit books. I finished four of them now, and I'm working on, one oh, this one I'm going to do like a pay um when I'm done with the December books that I have I will do just a giant review of the page type of books that I've read so far in romance and historical fiction um and I have an unboxing of a page type of box that I will actually put into the end into a lot in words are hard guys <laughs> words are hard when you're tired I was looking up 130 by a viral one. It was very fun. Um, <laughs> that's a story for another time. But um, no one was hurt. So that was good. And I will have that page habit unboxing later on in the week. And I will post it to the end of this video. In a later clip. You will see me open that box. You will see me open it. I promise. I, I, I did already open it. And I did peek into it. So like I, I know what's in there. But... You guys should also see what's in there if you don't have it. So, yeah. That's a video. <laughs> that 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 is a video. I will... With my implement of destruction. Stay away. Um, and, yeah. So, I will have reactions to those video to those episodes uh, later on in the week. I will have page topic reviews. Once I'm done with the December books, I will make sure to make a, a review of that. And I will... For sure, see you guys in the next clip, which will be later on in this week. This is T. Lizzo signing off until the next clip or video. Bye! Hey, what up, you guys? It's T. Lizzo. We're back in my dorm room. It has been, like, weeks. 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 <laughs> Since my last uh, video clip for this video. This is going to be really long. It's not edited, but... You're gonna have to pardon me while I move stuff and get what we're doing today. Because again, we're getting down to... Oh, I'm out of frame. Hi guys. We're getting down to the grind of things. I'm like nearly done with the semester. So I have here one of these. Hey, Chapman Unboxing. Um, this is the February box, I believe. Or it's March, I don't know. It's one of those. Let me see. I'm just gonna open it. I did already open it, so I know like what's inside of it. I have to find this now. Hold on a sec. I want to see if this is right. Can you right? What are you? Are you February? Yes, this is February, guys. This is February's box, and they went to Ethiopia. If you don't know what page habit is, I'm not going to try to talk a lot because this video is going to be obscenely long. I'll leave it in the description. You get blisters on my shirt. Um, and these were the books that they included. You can pause that and watch. And read them. You done? Excellent. So if you don't know what page how it is, basically, the, I, I'm not going to say that. So, Ooh. <laughs> I love this. And they always include, like, a bookmark. This is a bookmark. I'm going to read the quote here. Sleep is good, he said. And books are better by George R. R. Martin. So Game of Thrones creator. I love this bookmark, by the way. One of the other, like, bookmarks I got was a Harry Potter bookmark that I love. And I love it to pieces. Let me take that out. And I used to get two books, but it got, like, way too expensive, so I decided no. Um, so this one is a romance. I got the romance box. They have 
Let's read this card for the books. Romance, science fiction, literary fiction, young adult, mystery, historical fiction, fantasy, and horror. Uh, for the monthly boxes, which is what this is. I don't think I got a March one. I don't remember if I did. Mm, I, I have to check. Just putting the crap everywhere. So this is the letter that they always have. And then this one, they always like have a short story as well. This one is from, who are you from? Green Street Press, I believe. Let's see, are you what I think you are? Where are you? Are you Green Street Press? I'm confused. I don't know. So this is Rip Van Winkle by Washington Irving. This is, I guess it's a short story. It's a, yeah, it's a short story by Washington Irving. Never read it, but this is the cover. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. I have to check to see if I got a March one. I don't think I did. And then this is, oh, Yamas! <laughs> and this is Llama Stationery. So, like, with little llamas everywhere. Llamas! And it's, like, purple. And it got the notepad everywhere. Again, like, I, I've already opened this, so I know, like, what's inside of it. And I know what will be included in it. This is adorable. I love that. We have a beanie. I don't... This is going to sound, like, really stupid of me. I don't wear hats. I, I just don't wear hats. So, um, I get a lot of hats, but I don't wear them. They sound depressing, so... Got a hat, guys. <laughs> got a hat for the winter. Um, eh. Again, my room is a mess, so I'm going to make my room even more of a mess. So we have a beanie. I've never actually owned a beanie. It's in the beanie! I'm going to put it on. See if I look attractive. No. <laughs> Just no. I can see myself in the camera and I'm like, no. Take, take it off, woman. Take it off. You're unattractive. Alright. So this is the, the uh, February box. I really have to check if I got a March one. I don't think I did. If I did, my parents didn't tell me. So This is from Bookworm. So I guess it's to like keep your head comfy while you read awesome books. I can subscribe to that philosophy. I can subscribe to that. We also got a pen in purple ink. I don't know if you can see, but purple ink pen that uh, I think has to deal with the book. So we'll get into that. It's excellent. It will help me with my writing. So I will do more like writing videos in the future. If you like like writing videos and like just me writing in general and not really talking, go to comments and let me know. And that will be one of my videos probably as I'm leaving. That'll be probably one of the last videos I do. So the book we get into will move the box because it is done. If this crap will go everywhere. No, it won't. Yay. It's called The Wedding Date by Jasmine Gilliori? Gilliori? Something? I don't know. But it looks like this. And fine. So this one I've actually seen in like Barnes and Noble and things. So let me see. I will read this. Okay. I vowed to take thee as my date to pretend to have and to hold from rehearsal dinner to reception end till Sunday do us part. Lovely. <laughs> okay. That, that's actually interesting. So, agreeing to go to a wedding with a guy she gets stuck with in an elevator or something Alexa Monroe wouldn't normally do. She's definitely not the spontaneous type, but there's something about Drew Nichols that's too hard to resist. Drew has never found it hard to meet women or to know just when to leave them. But now on the eve of his ex's wedding festivities, he's minus a plus one until a power outage strands him with the perfect candidate for a fake girlfriend. From the best man's toast to the bouquet toss Alex Alexa and Drew have more fun than they ever thought possible, but before they know it, Drew has to fly back to Los Angeles and his job as a pediatric surgeon, and Alexa has heads home to Berkeley, where she's the mayor's chief of staff, and neither of them can stop thinking about the other. Aww. There's just two high-powered, they're just two high-powered professionals on a collision course towards the long-distance dating disaster of the century, or closing the gap between what they think they need and what they truly want. So what I'm gathering is it's two people who are very professional, one is in the government, excellent, the other one who is a pediatric surgeon, deals with blood. And they, and the PIs resurgence is minus plus one for exactly festivities. That would be awkward if he shows up alone. The second power outage with the chief of staff lady, um, and hilarity ensues and love ensues. So, yay, fun. Again, I will not be talking a lot in this video because I don't, this, this video is going to be really long and I don't know how to edit my videos, so I just don't. Um, 
So that is everything in the box, including the pen that I'm holding. That is everything. Stick it on my fridge. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm off frame, guys. I'm just trying to fix. Okay. Yes, excellent. Okay. So that will be the end of this hilariously long video. I think it'll be like 30 minutes. It'll be as long as the vlog from hell, I swear. And I will leave more information to the page habit uh, about site in the description in the description box below if you want to learn more about it. We have Calcifer today. He says, May all of your bacon burn. Bacon all burn. Burn! <laughs> Eh, he just wanted to do that. He he was missing you guys. He he was missing you guys. He's sitting on my desk. That is a mess, and I'm not going to turn my computer around because it's still a mess. So, again, I will leave more about the page habit um, in the description below. If you want more videos to see my lovely face or to see me writing, go down to comments. If you have video suggestions that I can do feasibly, excuse me, also let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next, hopefully, shorter video. This is Tilizzo signing off. Until then. Bye.